We're going to go down real quickly here before I process this rabbit and check on our bird who's, who's, who, who's brooding. And in fact, I've been syringe feeding her uh, and she has not left that nest. I'll get some, she hasn't left that nest. Once those broody hens get on those eggs, they, they don't want to come off and they'll sometimes stay there till, till death. Uh, last night when I came home from work, I syringe fed her. Uh, I've got a little kefir that I've been giving her uh, and just a mix of stuff. You, you kind of got to mix it up a little bit. Uh, water, obviously, fresh water. I put a little fresh water um, in front of her, but, you know, sometimes they, they just don't, they're just not interested. But this morning I'll go down and I will give her some fresh water. And actually, I think I'm actually going to give my, I don't, we don't got much in, in the compost bucket for the chickens. Um, I'm going to go down and probably give the chickens some of my kefir. There's a video on that coming too. I've, I'm making tons of good kefir. And they'll drink that. That's good for them too. Oh my gosh. There is a, there's a, there's a baby chick. Look at this. It's okay, honey. It's alive. Oh my gosh. She's trying to break out of her shell. Listen. Can you get, can, do you need to crack it? Oh, I'm gonna have to call Patera. I gotta call Patera. She'll know what to do. There's a baby chicken there. Oh, honey. I think you gotta do something with her. Oh my gosh, listen. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, I'm, it's moving. It's moving. Oh, it's breathing. Look at, look at, look at. phone. I gotta go call Patera. She'll know what to do. Oh, that's, oh. Patera, this is your girlfriend, Starry. I've got a broody hen that has a, a baby that's getting ready to be born. It's like, it's like hatching. And I don't know what to do. I kind of know what to do, but I don't know what to do. So I'm giving out a rescue call. <laughs> so call me as soon as you get this. All right, goodbye. Okay, there's my 911 call to uh, Patera. Um, actually, I read a little bit on Google. Isn't that great? Google's great. YouTube's great, too. Uh, and it said you just let the mother do her thing, right? Let the mother do her thing. So I'm going to go check on this hen. But my problem is, you know, she's in this coop area, and I'm kind of nervous about... Uh, Everybody else, like the rooster, and, uh, but they said the mom knows what to do. Look at this. Oh, so she went back on that, 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 chick, that little chicken. She went back on. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, she's puffing herself up. Yep, I'm going to leave her be. I think she knows what to do. She's, she's serious. Wow, we're going to have a baby. We're going to have a baby chicken. A baby chick. We got birth. This is the birthing center. It's the birthing center. It's insane. I'm really excited. Okay. And I got to get Mrs. Meatbird's little apron back on her too. I washed it up nice and clean because it was getting kind of dirty. <sighs> this is exciting. This is really exciting. And look, they, they drank all my kefir. See, I told, told you. Kefir. All that stuff. They'll drink it. In fact, I probably should give them some more. Good stuff. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Mr. Rooster, you just stop sowing your oats here. You, you're just fine. And you're so good, aren't you, huh? So I, I just came back to check, and, and Mr. Hilder's checking. I think there's a couple. 
that are ready to hatch right now. We're going to leave her be. Um, she's just going to do it naturally. But I think there's a couple other uh, eggs getting ready to hatch. Unbelievable. See, listen. There's one, there's one out. It's behind her. There's one out? Well, that one ain't making chirping sounds. That's in the egg. <laughs> oh, there's one out, I think. You got one that's already alive? Yeah, that's out? It's, I'm assuming it's behind her somewhere. She's probably laying on it. Are they supposed okay. to? Yeah, she can, yeah. Yeah, she's going to lay on them, keep them warm. So we're actually going to, once once these these chicks are hatched, we're going to bring, I'm going to try to move the brody, broody hen down below. It's cleaner down there. It's a little bit safer because we never expected that she was going to be laying eggs and hatching them up here because this really isn't made it's kind of but we've been keeping that corner clean i've been keeping it really clean and then she can go down below where mrs meatbird usually is and it's clean down there it's safe it's warm and i'll be out of the way this is exciting well you could take and put a board above her oh yeah i could do that we, we have lots of ideas um but we just got to make sure that those baby chickens are going to be okay that's the most important thing but why well, you don't think that rooster's going to kill them no, he won't kill them. Or the other ones will pack them? No, we'll they shouldn't. Them? No, that's she, she, she's, she'll, she'll protect her flock. She'll protect her babies. Just what that's what that's what mamas do. They protect. But this is exciting. Yeah, never thought. Mister Harris was like, "What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with those chickens? What are we gonna do with those baby chicks?" I said, "They take care of their own." Right? Well, now we get to butcher some of the other ones. Oh yeah. Time for them all to go. <laughs> no. He's always about the food. I'm always about life and taking care of the babies. Okay, there we go. It's a walk.